for the program for the session. Let us go with a small introduction. In today's session, we shall go with the basic con uh, concepts of the Revit architecture. We will understand about different file types and again the user interface options. These three things, inshallah, we shall cover in today's session. Remember that soon after completion of the class, you have to go through the topics. If not, it will be very difficult for you to understand. At the starting first and the second chapters are slight theoretical, where we are going to understand the basics, but revision is very, very important to understand. So first thing we will see, what is meant by a Revit architecture? So a Revit architecture is actually a software which is developed by Autodesk company. Okay, Autodesk is a company which runs this software Revit architecture. So this software is used by engineers, is used by trackmans or any construction expert engineer. So these things will provide you the detailed information taking the concepts with respect to the BIM. Okay, what is mean by BIM? Already about all these concepts I have given you in the orientation class as well as in the demo class. Okay, what is BIM? Okay, how we are going to work with BIM, all this. Anyhow, again, I'll be revising these things. So, Revit architecture is having the ability to impact dynamic data. What is meant by dynamic data or what is meant by savvy models? Means this is an intelligent software where every object will have an intelligence. Like, for example, if I am going to work with any template, like I am working with a Revit architectural template. So you are going to find different, different types of blocks, different, different types of objects. So every object, every block will have an intelligence and they will work in a very smart way. If I say that I have door, so we are going to provide the compositions of the door. We are going to specify different, different specifications like thickness, Okay, the material what we are going to use, all those things. So in short, we are going to call it as a SEBI model, means it is an intelligent model. So this intelligent model, we are going to develop by implementing a concept called as BIM technology. So by, by using this BIM, we are going to elaborate a model in such a way, which will be error free. So how is Revit architecture used? When you're going to work with any construction drawing, how we are going to implement this Revit architecture. So when you talk about an architect or when you talk about a designer, a modeler or a draftman, they are going to use softwares. We have got different, different softwares which we use, which we are habituated to use like AutoCAD, ZWCAD, or now we are going with the Revit architecture. So in today's era, we are going to see how this Revit architecture we are going to use and how this Revit architecture is beneficial when compared to the previous versions like your AutoCAD or ZWCAD. So this Autodesk Revit architecture is a software which will reduce the risk, risk in terms of your planning, risk in terms of economical conditions, in terms of your financial conditions, in terms of your technology or the process, whatever you're using. So before constructing okay, at the site, okay, we are going to produce different, different models. We are going to plan okay, according to the requirements of the client, according to the requirements of the consultant or the contractor. So with the help of this Revit architecture software, we are going to develop the higher quality designs, which will improve the project delivery on time. So Revit architecture can be used to quickly monitor the construction of a building. Like for example, I am going to develop a model. So we are bonded with a time restrictions. When you are going to work with big projects, we need to deliver first thing on time and it should be a error free drawing. The coordination should be good. The interface should be very good. Okay? And the quality of drawing is the main important factor. Whenever we are going to work with any project. It can be from the architect point of view, civil point of view or any kind of layout. The first thing is the quality. How you are going to develop a quality? Like when we used to work with AutoCAD, we have to maintain everything in a block. We have to maintain everything in a layer, right? So we have to provide some different different line types, line by so that one who is going to review, review your drawing, okay, he should have very clear picture. Okay, that is what we are going to focus. So here also in the Revit, we are going to use different, different models, different, different libraries, 
So with the help of this libraries, what we are going to use, we are going to minimize the time. Okay. So that is what is mentioned over here. So any smart model, which we are going to create with Revit architecture okay, on a larger area is saved in single database record. Like when you work with any company, we are going to work with server. So same like here, Revit itself will have a server data, okay, where we are going to coordinate with all the different different services. So finally, the Revit application is to create precise building plans, like whatever the floor plan we are going to develop. That is going to be developed very precisely, very accurately by maintaining a decimal level of gain till 0.8 decimals, we are going to maintain the precision value. So which will reduce the time it takes to coordinate in long time. As a result, though, thoughts can be heard through more quickly and continuity can be maintained through activities. So these are the few benefits what we are getting when we are going to use the Revit software when compared to any RTS software. Mm -hmm.